I want to take a step back and talk to you about once you're involved in a case and or claim. Um, typically, we have um, everyday life such as social media. We use Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and many other ones as they come out. They're great for keeping in touch with family and friends and such, but they can also be used against you um, when you're involved in an accident, in a personal injury accident to be specific. Um, what I'd like to kind of talk to you about is some of the questions that come up and some of our recommendations. Um, granted, I am a Florida practicing attorney, so every state may have different type of case law and a different way of handling it. Um, I can tell you how typically things are done in Florida, but they change. Uh, just as case law and cases change, the law changes. However, it is really important for people to realize that when you are pursuing a personal injury claim, you are claiming and putting yourself out there by stating that you have been injured, that your life has been affected as a result of an accident or an incident involving another party. And our job as attorneys is to paint that picture and illustrate the type of injury and change that this has had and been affected on your life. Well, defense attorneys, whether you're in pre-suit or litigation, um, love to use social media. And social media um, is a new game or a new tool, so to speak, because what it does is people post where they're going, where they've been. They take pictures at events. These are things that before were really never relevant in cases, but now have more and more begun to become issues that attorneys fight in the litigation and, and throughout the case. If you have any questions, concerns, or would like to discuss the matter further on any of your particular cases, please feel free to give us a call. Um, again, I'm Matt Rabin with the law firm Rifkin Thompson Rosinski. You can be reached at 833-HIRE-RTR, and we look forward to serving you.